Hello everybody, my name is Mehrdad Pahlavar Nadeh, I'm international arbiter and in this video I want to discuss about the new rules of FIDE for uh, calculating unplayed games in the uh, Swiss system when we have tiebreak of uh, Bochol or uh, Sonneborn Berger. Uh, as you know, FIDE till now changed uh, this rule many times uh, and this uh, new rule uh, that uh, called BAKU 2023 in the uh, program and in the FIDE handbook uh, called uh, Dummy Opponent is much simpler than the previous one but uh, we should describe and uh, show some examples to be sure that we know how to calculate. The programs are uh, using uh, the uh, automatic calculation, only you need to set up uh, setting of the tournament and everything will calculate automatic, but one arbiter always should know how to calculate things uh, correctly by himself and uh, can describe for the players. Uh, in this uh, subject we should uh, talk about uh, some important uh, points like uh, win by four feet or lose by four feet that uh, okay we should know that in this kind of tie break uh, both of them uh, you will have the same uh, point of player himself instead of the uh, opponent point you should not uh, be worried about that if he didn't come or opponent didn't come all the same point of uh, himself will count the other thing that uh, is uh, important uh, and different between the previous system is that when we had uh, opponent uh, that he had no uh, opponent in some round uh, how uh, we should calculate in here uh, simply we are calling uh, using real points uh, means that doesn't matter if he didn't come uh, or his opponent didn't come the total point will not change. We will calculate the same thing. And then uh, we have also discussed about the requested by and also when the opponent uh, withdraw, that's how we should calculate this uh, thing till here. Okay. Uh, and also we have the other uh, matter when the opponent withdraw, as I mentioned, uh, that uh, we will discuss and describe that when one opponent withdraw from tournament, the points will count uh, as uh, half point from the time that he is not in the pairing at all and never come back to the tournament. Okay, and then we have also the matter that uh, when we have cut it behold, like cut one or cut two, if the pl player had uh, requested by of uh, removing the weakest opponent, we should first remove the. Uh, unplayed games for calculation. Okay, we can say that uh, this is the old theory, but here I want to uh, show you uh, one example that actually I played myself in this tournament. This was a Swiss tournament I played um, recently and the calculation was the same as you can see. The calculation is uh, based on Baku 2023 written there and I had uh, here second place and if you can um, see that I had uh, the first round no opponent and some of my opponent had uh, no opponent uh, on some rounds and one of my opponent uh, withdrew from tournament uh, before the end of tournament and we will see in this example how all of these uh, things work. Uh, I want to first calculate the Bocholt, Bocholt that you know that is the total point of the opponent uh, that uh, you play with and then uh, unplayed game is very important uh, that how we calculate as I mentioned before okay if I want to mention here okay uh, I am number two and then I had the first round uh, one uh, unplayed game therefore as I mentioned here uh, very simply I should use same score as myself you can see i had uh, five and a half point at uh, the end of tournament i supposed to play against player number 29 that he didn't come to the uh, competition in this uh, round and therefore i have been by four feet therefore for uh, bohol calculation i put uh, just uh, five and 
half point at myself and then I played with player number four that uh, he got five points and I received the five point for the tie break then I had the uh, opponent number 22 that he got two and half points I received two and half point for the tie break and then I had player number five also uh, very simple four and a half point but here there is uh, interesting that I played against player number 19 you can see that player number 19 had got two and a half point but as you can see the last round he was not in the pairing okay the, the round before he didn't play but doesn't matter he was in the pairing but for this round that he was not in the pairing completely I put for him just half point you can see he got uh, two and half i put for i add a uh, half point for him and he will have uh, three points instead of uh, two and half point and uh, i will get three points okay the rest is easy i have uh, player number 10 that got three and half and then i had player number one that got five and half point and then here total my Bohol tie break is 29 and half it is very simple and uh, you can uh, based on this calculation uh, be sure that you understood already uh, how the Boko 2023 is working okay if you want to calculate uh, the same way uh, the Sonneborn Berger tie break again for myself we can see that on first game I had a win by forfeit, therefore I receive uh, exactly the same as uh, my uh, points. On the second uh, game, I uh, lost to a very uh, promising young player under eight, uh, Nushat. Uh, okay, he got uh, five points at the end, and I will receive nothing from him because I lost that game. Then I had 22, that on that 22, I had. Uh, win and then two and half point then again player number five i made draw then when i had the draw my opponent got four and a half then i will receive half of the points of my opponent therefore 2.75 and then again the same system uh, i played against player number 19 that player number 19 got two and a half point but at the last round he had no uh, opponent therefore I win and I receive all the three points that uh, same as Bohold I got and then I had uh, player number 10 the same way I will receive three and half and then uh, again the player number one that I won also I got five and half point and total my uh, Sonne Bornberger will be 22 and 25 points here I want to show you that uh, the same way that we, we told that uh, we will calculate the game that player uh, withdraw from tournament uh, at the end we will put a half point instead of them. You can see same number 19 has the same situation for this game and also number 23 and then others we will have and then we will calculate but we look it's very important I put all of them half point but look here in this round player number 26 at round five was not in the pairing but he came back he he, re he returned back to the tournament he just informed that he will not play on round five therefore for this point this player we will not receive a half point uh, buy but i want to show you only how where you can find all this regulation on fide website if you go you can see that everything is uh, in the handbook from FIDE you will go to from FIDE.com there is a menu FIDE and over there there is a handbook and then when you scroll down on the C part you will have tiebreak regulation and at the end of this you have the unplayed rounds that are very important this new rule and very simple don't think that it is uh, complicated it's very easy and you can uh, look at this example and uh, learn it how it works. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful for you.